Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic on Pythagoras and Trigonometry question number seven with me Mr Barton and what an epic way to finish this walking talking topic journey through the wonderful world of Pythagoras and Trig because we've got a flipping art question here. Let's have a read. A piece for a jigsaw is made of a shape in a right angle triangle. Okay, so I'll mark my little right angle there. Innocent enough so far. The piece has to be accurate so that the overall jigsaw fits together correctly. The lengths shown on the right angle triangle are correct to the nearest millimetre. Here's your first sign that danger's coming here. Calculate the greatest and least possible values for angle X. Right, so what we've got here in disguise is an upper and lower bounds question wrapped up together with a bit of trigonometry. Now, we've got to remember a few things here um, about how we get things as big and as small as possible. Well, before we worry about that, let's get, a, let's get the trig side of it sorted and see what we're working with here. So, um, if we want to work out angle X, we've got a hypotenuse, we've got an opposite, we've got an adjacent. Tick what we've got. We've got an O, we've got an A. That tells us, if you know your soccer toe, that's a tan job. So, it's going to be tan theta opposite adjacent draw around it and if I cover up what I'm trying to work out put my thumb over tan and it tells me to do O divided by A it tells me that tan theta equals O divided by A and in this case let's just uh, kind of fill it out so that's tan X because my angle's called X my opposite is 3.5 and my adjacent is 4.8 and if I just finish this particular bit off if I want to work out what x is I've got to do tan to the minus 1 of both sides the inverse so that tells me it's tan to the minus 1 of 3.5 divided by 4.8 now that's all well and good but at no point have we accounted for this nearest millimeter bit so let's do that now so what is the greatest and the smallest 3.5 can be? Well, there are 10 uh, millimeters in a centimeter. So that is uh, 3.5 to the nearest millimeter. If you go back to our work that we did on bounds, that was earlier on in this walking, talking topic series. Hopefully you're familiar with a diagram that looks something like this. What's the biggest that could be? Well, I think it's 3.55 because any bigger than that, it's going to go up to 3.6. And what's the smallest this can be? I think it's going to be 3.45 because any smaller than that it's going to go down to 3.4 so that becomes our lower bound that becomes our upper bound and as we talked about a good way to check there is that the distance between those two is 0.1 centimeters which is one millimeter which is what this asks us to round it to likewise we can do something similar with the 4.8 so we've got a 4.8 slap bang in the center and it's going to go up to 4.85, and it's going to go down to 4.75. Lower bound, upper bound, distance of 0.1 centimeters. So the question now is, how do we make this angle as big as it can be, and as small as it can be? So let's go for, let's go for big first, or greatest, I guess I should say. X equals tan to the minus one off. Now, if we want to make a division as big as it possibly can be, we need something as big as possible on the top, but shared by something as small as possible on the bottom. So we need our upper bound for the numerator, so as big as it can be, 3.55, divided by as small as it can be on the bottom. So divided by our lower bound of 4.75. And that's going to make our division as big as it humanly possibly can be. Big divided by small equals big. So let's bang that into the calculator. I'm going to go for shift tan. That's tan to the minus 1. And I'm going to go for 3.55. And I'm going to divide it by 4.75. Close my bracket press equals and I'm going to get 36.7732 dot 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 degrees. Now let's compare that to small if we make the division as small as it can be. So I'll just go down here for this bit. So x is going to be equal to tan to the minus one of, now if you want to make a division as small as it can be, we want something as small as possible on top. So we're going to need our lower bound on the top, 3.45. I'm going to need to divide it by something as big as humanly possible. So instead of 4.8, uh, sorry, instead of, uh, yeah, instead of 4.8, we're going to go for as big as possible, 4.85. Let's try that in the calculator. 
shift tan of 3.45 divided by 4.85 close my little brackets off press equals and that's going to give it an answer of 35.4257 so that is as big as it could possibly be 36.7732 and that is as small as it possibly can be so we best just make sure we fill those in 36.77 and 35.42 dot 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 and that is taking trigonometry and fusing it together with bounds to form a beautiful question and that concludes our wonderful journey through walking talking topics pythagoras and trig